Welcome to our lecture online. Here's part two in the attempt to find the equivalent equation for the focal length of a triple lens system using the traditional method where we simply start with the first object and the final image and based upon the distance from the first object to the first lens and the distance from the final image to the third lens we should be able to find going through each lens separately and finding the proper equivalent for S2 prime like we did in the previous video, we eventually end up with this equation for S3 prime. And notice we then multiply both the numerator and the denominator by these quantities right here to get rid of these denominators, simplify the equation a little bit more. Of course, we do have to multiply F3 by this in order to get the equivalent equation. And then notice when we multiply everything through, we have an expression for e3, uh, S3 prime in terms of F1, F2, F3, and S1. Next, what we want to do is we want to make it look like this. So what I'm going to do now is take the inverse of the equation. So coming up here, we're going to take 1 over S3 prime is equal to the inverse of the equation. So this becomes S1, F1, F2, plus S1, F1, F3, plus S1, F2, F3, and then finally, minus F1, F2, and F3, all divided by what's now in the denominator, S1. Now next, I think what we should do is get rid of most of those S1s. We have a lot of S1s in there, so we're going to multiply or divide both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over S1. So we're going to multiply this by 1 over S1, divide by 1 over S1 like this. When we do that, and this pen is kind of dry, all right. So we do that, this then simplifies a little bit further. 1 over S3 prime is equal to F1, F2 plus F1, F3, plus F2, F3, and then minus F1, F2, F3 over S1. That's the only term that did not have an S1 in it. And then we take the whole thing and divide it by F1, F2 times F3. And then, of course, the S1 there is gone as well. Now what we want to do here is separate that over on two separate fractions. So this can be written as 1 over S3 prime is equal to, let's see here, um, yes, we're going to write this as F1, F2 plus F1, F3 plus F2, F3, all divided by F1, F2 times F3, and then minus, we have here F1, F2, F3 divided by S1. Of course, we can then put the S1 in the denominator. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, we don't want to do that, but that's not the only thing because we still have this denominator. So it will be S1 times F1, F2, F3. Got to be careful about the algebra. So now we have an equation that looks a little bit better again. Notice what I've done here is I've taken the this and wrote as a separate fraction over the denominator and brought S1 down. So now you can see that these cancel out. This becomes 1 over S1. We have 1 over S3 prime, which is what we have over here, but we still need to have the 1 over F total. So now I'm going to rewrite this with this in the denominator. So from here, we can now write that we have 1 over S3 prime is equal to 1 over, write this as, F1, F2, F3 divided by F1 times F2 plus F1 times F3 plus F2 times F3. So this is in the denominator now. And then minus 1 over S1, which is what we have left over from there. And finally, we realize now that F total must equal what's inside here. So therefore, we can say that F total which is basically the equivalent focal length of the three lenses combined is going to be equal to the product F1, F2, F3 divided by F1. And just like we've seen in a previous video, there's the equivalent focal length of a three lens system working through the entire set of going from the first object to the 
first image, that becomes a second object, to the second image, that becomes a third object, to the third image, all the way through, and then, then bringing your distances, d1, d2, to zero, end up with the exact equation we're looking for. That's how it's done.